So let's talk about EV range anxiety, the modern day equivalent of wandering in the desert with a questionable camel. It's the 21st century version of, are we there yet? Except now, the car is the one asking as it nervously glances at its dwindling battery percentage. It's like playing a game of electric chairs and when the music stops, hopefully you're near a charger and not parked beside a cornfield in Iowa. You start off full of hope. The dashboard proudly displays 300 miles of range. But drive like a normal human being? Watch those miles drop off faster than my diet resolutions after spotting a donut. Turn on the heat because it's colder than a penguin's pantry. There go a few more miles. Use the car's stereo. Say goodbye to another mile. It's like the car's running on anxiety itself. Forget horror movies. Nothing beats the spine-chilling experience of passing by the last charger before a long stretch of highway, playing chicken with your car's battery life. And the charging stations? They're like mythical creatures, often spoken of, but rarely seen when needed. And when you do find one, it's occupied by an EV with a smug driver sipping coffee who apparently plans to finish War and Peace before they unplug. EV range anxiety isn't just a feeling, it's a lifestyle. It's about embracing the unknown, one mile at a time, while frantically Googling nearest charging station and promising your car you'll never take it for granted again. If thrill-seeking is your thing, forget skydiving. Just take an EV on a road trip and leave the charger at home. Adventure, panic, and a whole lot of praying to the lithium-ion gods, it's all included.